let us do sr flip flop uh, using nand gate uh, this is a circuit diagram actually here you have to use s bar and r bar as the inputs so this is the just recall this is for uh, using nor gate we used r and s here okay and in the rs sr flip flop using nor gate actually one one is actually invalid, invalid. giving input s and r as one one is actually the invalid uh, input option uh, in case of sr flip flop using nand gate zero zero is actually invalid because uh, in the nand gate if any one of the input is one output becomes one so if uh, s bar is one r bar is one both q and q bar is becomes one one which which is invalid because q and q bar should be always opposite next if uh, s bar is equal to zero if s bar is equal to zero if any one of the input is zero this definitely becomes one okay if s bar is equal to this is becomes one and uh, uh, if r bar is uh, one if r bar is one and one and one is one one bar is uh, actually uh, zero you are getting zero as the output here now if i give s equal to, s bar is equal to one r bar is equal to zero now this output is equal to one because one of the input is zero means this becomes one q bar is one and this is one no one into one is one one bar is zero so we're getting zero one here and if you give uh, one one both if you give one one output will not change output will not change it will have the previous value only so for to rig up this circuit go to place component select all families okay uh, all groups all families type nand so we'll get uh, this uh, and i'll show just one same thing you have to copy so just go to otherwise group is miscellaneous digital miscellaneous digital then go to and til family there you type nand2 otherwise just in for all the components you follow this go to groups all groups select all families just type here nand if you type nand you will get uh, nand2 nand3 nand4 so for this two input nat it is sufficient so you can place here this you have to place two times and uh, this is a digital interactive so click interactive all groups all families interactive digital constant click ok so you can place here after that you can give the name as you can double click this and give the name as s bar okay double click on this give the label as s bar and uh, in order to toggle its value 0 to 1 you can make use of keyboards and which key you have to write uh, set that uh, key here so i selected s key. s key i can click on this otherwise i can press s key in the keyboard similarly one more interactive digital constant switch which is toggled by switch r and label i change this one to r bar so now we have to verify this so i'll run this so we should get this so now first of all let me start with zero zero if both are zero zero s r and r bar are zero one one is coming so which is invalid so next i will make r bar as one so for this s bar is one so s bar is one uh, s bar is zero s bar is zero means it should set so q is set q bar is zero they are coming opposite so it is valid next s bar is uh, now if i give one one both one one no change one one no change occurred next i'll change uh, s bar is 1 and r bar is 0 if you change uh, r bar is equal to 0 now you can see q is reset and q bar is 1 so it since it is active low it is r bar no so that's why it is active low so now it is reset and this is set now last case again uh, if you give 1 1 no change will takes place okay 
So if I give 0, 0, it is invalid because both becomes 1. So this is the verification of uh, SR flip flop using NAND gate. So if I want normal SR only, then uh, here actually, S, if you give it to, to input NAND gate, you'll get S bar here. Then you have to verify this two table, normal uh, SR flip flop two table. So in order to convert this, uh, I can I can stop this simulation. You can stop here only. This is extra optional. So this is a gated clocked uh, SR flip flop. So I will rig up this circuit now. So delete this, delete this line. So one more, you click a right click and Control C and Control V. So this will give you one more and get again Control V. So in order to get not gate. So now join this. Join this. Now actually S bar and uh, uh, this is S bar. Here actually S bar will come. This is now normal without uh, label. I will change again to S only because S bar will come after this. This is NAND gate, no? So S and S multiplied by not. So S not is S bar will come here. This is also no. It is not S bar. R bar. It is simply R. So where you will get R bar? Here you will get after this uh, NAND gate, you will get R bar here. Here also after uh, NAND gate, you will get S bar here. So now we will verify this two table. Now this two table, not this one. Okay. So uh, if you want, you can put uh, one more uh, probe here. That is optional again to check uh, intermediate output here. Click on this Control C and Control V. So this is your rotate right side. Control R. So this is intermediate uh, probes I included here to check uh, what is the value of S bar and R bar here. So now let us run this. Okay, now see here S and R are given as 0, 0. S and R are given as 0, 0. So it is nothing but S bar. Here S bar is 1. Here this is 1. So no change will take place here actually. So now uh, actually, uh, first actually uh, I'm going to set uh, one value. After that we'll see. S is equal to zero. S is equal to one. If I make S is equal to one, so it is going to set. S is equal to one. It is going to set. Q is equal to one. Q bar is equal to zero. So after that, if I make S is equal to zero, R is equal to zero. No change should take place. minute okay now if s is equal to 1 q is equal to 1 this one is equal to q bar is equal to opposite now if i make s is equal to 0 r is equal to 0 no change takes place it is still same only now again i will make a uh, R is equal to 1. If I make R is equal to 1, Q is equal to resetted. This is Q bar, which is opposite. And if I make both are 1, 1, if both are 1, 1, okay, you're going to get both are 1, 1, so it is invalid. You can see here in this two table, actually, we consider S bar and R bar. We consider S bar and R bar. Actually, this is yes, this is S bar. S bar is 0 r bar is 0 s bar 0 r bar 0 means invalid here if you consider s and r here if i give 1 1 you are telling to set and reset both at a time so it is invalid set means set the flip flop reset means reset the flip flop so we are telling set and reset both same time so it is not possible so that's why it is invalid okay so this is how to uh, verify the two table of SR flip flop using NAND gate. So this is using actually uh, NAND gate. Now if you want to have gated uh, SR flip flop, so instead of connected to this, we have to connect to common clock here. So for that I will stop simulation. So one I will delete here. 
one line I will delete here. Okay, I will short these two. Okay, then I have to in place one clock. So digital clock. So all families digital clock interactive digital uh, uh, digital clock digi digital type will get a digital clock. Click OK. Place it. Close it. So whenever clock signal is there, that time only you are going to get uh, this two table is verified. If clock is absent, if no clock is given, AND gate output is always uh, you are going to get uh, uh, zero. So output will not get. So in order to get with the help of the clock, so you have to connect uh, these two NAND gates are connected to the common clock. So now you can change the frequency to 10 hertz or something. Okay, now let us do once again any any frequencies you can let us change check after it so we will change if possible. Now, now I'll verify this. Click run on run. See if both are one one. Okay, it is invalid because both are coming as one one. So let us verify one by one. So first I will start with uh, S is equal to 1, S is equal to 1, R is equal to 0. I think clock is varying very fast. So let me change this one to 1 knots. Okay, when uh, R is equal to 1, when R is equal to 1, this is reset, this is 1. Similarly, if you make uh, 1, 1, sorry, 0, 0, no change should occur. 1, 1, no changes. Actually, no changes should occur. Zero zero means no change. So you not one one. Zero zero means no change. After that, next I will make in order to make this as one, I have to make s is equal to one. If s is equal to one means this is high, that is set, this is zero. Again, if I make zero zero, no change. No change. And if I give s is equal to one, r is equal to one. S is equal to 1, R is equal to 1, both are coming 1, 1, which is invalid. So, in this, I explained uh, first SR flip flop with S bar and R bar as the input, we verified this output. After that, in order to verify SR two table, normal two table, that is when S is equal to 1, actually Q should come 1, so then you have to use in our, instead of giving S bar directly with the help of NAND gate, we can take S, yes, you will get S bar here. And here R, after this NAND gate, you will get R bar here. So this is normal SR flip flop. And this is gated with the help of clock. Whenever clock is there, then only uh, the flip flop will change its value, else, output is not changed. So this is uh, all the three combinations of SR flip flop using NAND gate.